O. O. U. Yes, U. The clumsy one. Mm-hmm. Uh, who hired you? There she. And, uh, what, pray tell, is your job description? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just, I've been observing you for the last few minutes, and I found it all to be confusing and chaotic. Yes. Normally I won't fire you now, but I found myself overcome with a strange emotion of pity. Yes. Uh, why don't you make yourself useful and fetch me a coffee? Two sugar? Now? Oh. It's you. Back so soon, are we? Hmm. And, uh, who keeps letting you in? Remind me to fire them. Coffee. I don't think I heard you correctly. You want to observe the creation process of your garment? <laughs> Preposterous. I'm not taking on apprentices. And I would be a fool to show someone my creative process behind the scenes. Where are you? I find your lack of listening and persistence to be that of an annoyance. There. Mm hmm. I see. Well, can't say I don't find your eagerness to learn and personality to not be interesting. Huh. I suppose I could let you observe part of the creation process, but if you so much as step one toe out of line, I will have my staff remove you from my premises faster than you can blink. Capiche? Good. Very well. Let's get started then. I don't have all day. Very busy. So, I have the blueprint of your garment here. All set up and ready for the material. What was that? Oh no, darling. We're not going to make any changes to this piece. I see. Hmm. So you're worried about what others might say. Hmm. No, darling. Let me give you some advice. Don't worry about what other people think of you. The world will always talk. But if they're saying something about you, it means you're doing something right. You're making a statement. You're making waves. And they are stuck behind you. Jealous. So, wear this piece and wear it boldly. Because that's what we're designing, darling. A statement piece. We're going to show fashion that it can be anything we dream. All right. Good. So, we stick with the original piece, yes? Good. So, 
Normally I would use a mannequin for this process, but since you're here, I'm sure you won't mind if I use your stature as my mannequin. Very well. Let me see here. Good. So, I went ahead and I handpicked some materials that I thought would work for this perfectly. Now that you're here, I suppose I could show you. I found this beautiful red cloth. I think it'll accent the piece quite nicely. Really make it pop. Along with our main attraction, our black and white color scheme. It'll really turn head. So, this is what we'll use. What do you think? Hmm. I suppose you do have good taste. Though, you did come to me as your designer. So, not bad. I also thought that we could add a fur lining. Or maybe a fur collar to accent the piece. It would really complement it and give it a little more of a statement without being overbearing. Oh no, darling. It's faux fur, but it does look like the real thing, does it not? So, what do you think? Yes, I agree. So, what we're going to do first, I'm going to measure out parts of your torso, and then I'm going to hold up the fabric here and mark it with my white pen. This is for cutting afterwards, so we can then pin the materials together on your body. All right? Good. So hold still here. I have my tape measure and I'm just going to measure out your shoulders here. Good. And here, get some of the material here. And let's just hold it up to you. Good. Looks good. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get your neck here. So. And a circumference. Excellent. Hold this here, darling. Oh no, I won't choke you again. 
Well, can't say I wouldn't like to, but I won't. After all, I need to get paid. Now for your arms, so this one first. Hold it out for me. Higher. Too high. Good. And from there down to your wrist. Very good. All right. Start moving. Mark it here on the fabric. Right, and down here by your wrist. Good, good, right. And yes, you can put your arm down. Other side. So up here, oh, don't, don't get so close, darling, personal space, though your breath does smell better than the anchovies it did last time, you learned what a mint was, yes? Good. Hold this up here. All right, and up the shoulder and mark down here on the wrist. Your energy is giving me anxiety, yes. Um, Maybe next time, come a little less enthusiastic, yes? All right. Now that we've gotten the black and white fabric all marked for cutting, let's go ahead and do your waist for the red accent fabric. So, hold still here. I just have to get uh, closer. Hold that there. All right, good. Good enough. That'll do. Okay. So. Isn't this color striking? It'll really make you turn heads. We're going to be the talk of this ball of Fashion Week. Hmm. It truly will be amazing. A work of art. Hold still. Just need to mark off that here. Alright. Okay. Good. Lastly, I just need to get your legs, so... Hold still while I measure this. Okay, so I'm going to start from 
from your waist here and down to your Hold still. Alright, now, I can't decide if we should do the bottom red or black and white. Hmm, choices. Don't suppose you have an opinion, do you? Mm -hmm. I see. Not bad, but I feel that would blend in too much. We're really trying to give the audience a show, darling. So, hmm. I think we go with the black and white. That way, the bits of red really pop. Yes, I am a genius. All right. So, I'll just need to mark that off for your bottom. Hold still. All right. So just should go about there and down to there. Yes. All right. And for this side. And if we want to add any of this to your headpiece, let me just verify those measurements for a moment. Still here. Good. And let's just mark that off on here. So. There. Perfect. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can go ahead and proceed with cutting the fabric. So. I have a sewing kit here. Yes. Have you not seen one? Well, this is it. So, 
in here and have some scissors. Beautiful, are they not? Solid gold. These were given to me by the queen herself. <laughs> so, let's get started. Marking here perfect. And I'll we'll just cut away. It's really not all that interesting, darling. Though, it's not so much this process. It's the getting to create and showing the world your art that makes this motness part of it. A joy. Very good. Now, I'm going to have to start pinning it together. So, this is where you really should try not to move. I know you seem to have a sporadic amount of energy, but if you move, I will probably poke you. All right? So, hold still. I know it's hard for you, but try, as you might. Yes? Good. Just going to grab some pins here. This should be good. All right. Let's get this pinned on you. Hold this here. Need a few more down here. Ooh, I told you not to move. Are you all right? 
Mm, good. All right, let's uh, put that there. Gross. You're ruining my pin. And one here. Okay. Just there. Couple more. Right. And one more. Time for your arms. Hold still here. All right. Have some more fabric here for your sleeves. So, let me just cut off some more. Good. All right. Hold still. Yes, put out your arm. I guess an old dog can be taught new tricks. All right. Let's see here. Here we are. And. Turn your arm around. Yes. I need to get to the underside here. And another pin here. Alright, you can place your arm down. Time for this one here. Yes, raise it. Here, here, and turn your arm over, there, by the wrist here, and there, couple more, very good, alright, yes, put your arm down, you're making me tired just looking. Now I'd like to pin the red onto your torso. Just going to cut it where we made our marking. Alright, hold still here. I'm going to have to get closer. So I'm just going to uh, pin this here. Thankfully, you have a nice structure. So this will fit 
very nicely here. It'll accentuate your wonderful attributes. And for this side. And one more pin. I told you not to move. Are you alright? Good. All set there. So all we have left to do is pin your bottom half. So I have that material here. And I'm just going to get this all set and we should be good for now. Yes. Hold still. Alright, let's start by your ears and place in some pins around. There we are. Now that we've got you all pinned in, all that's left is for the sewing portion. But I have to keep some things a secret, darling. No one ever taught you to sew? Well, that is tragic, but I don't see how that's my problem. Well, I suppose I could show you a bit. This is a thimble. It's to protect your finger. And here I have my needles and thread. One moment while I thread this. There we are. Good. And tighten a knot. Now, we will sew your shoulder together here so that way I can remove the pins. Hold still. I'll be careful. and you just go over, under, through, over, under, through. There's many different stitches, but this is the easiest of the bunch. And you just want to pull it tight.
See, just like that. Though, I do like to work alone. So I'll handle the rest of the sewing and, again, I will have my assistant call you when we're complete. I'm just going to emphasize that uh, one last time. I will have my assistant contact you when the wardrobe is complete for you to come in for a fitting. Yes, this way we don't have any potential miscommunication. Understand? Good, good, yes. All right. I must be on my way. So, you, clumsy one, uh, remove their pins. Yes, and have that placed on that mannequin there so I can complete the sewing later. Hurry, yes, now. So, later, contact you. Have a good night.